what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's cc if you're new here welcome this is my channel where i do lifestyle content and also a good portion of my content is actually focused around these incredible silk and sonder planners if you are new to silk and sonder and you are interested in checking them out i 1000 percent recommend it you can go through my playlist check out all the previous planners that i have previewed to just really get a scope of what's included and also i have a video on how to fill out the silk and sonder planners and even some after the pen videos so you're able to see what the planner looks like after i've gotten it filled out under the theme of the month is desire this is definitely the package i look forward to every single month without a doubt you guys so let's get started on the preview okay so this is what august looks like i love like this looks textured i don't know if you can tell it looks like it's textured it's actually not this is what the cover looks like you guys it's always going to be absolutely beautiful color combos for these planners um, with flower accents throughout okay so on the first page we have in case of loss please return to you can put your information there they also have a qr code for the incredible silk and sonder app which i absolutely love you guys being a part of the sonder fam is better than being on social media in my personal opinion um if you guys want a full review of the app definitely let me know in the comments below the index so this will have the page numbers corresponding with exactly is on that page and you also have the weeks number here which page they are on okay so down here we have this notes section where you can put your own page numbers and whatever's on that page as well this is something that's a little bit different than it has been in the past just the format's a little bit different the gist of it is still the same so this is a letter from the wonderful incredible creator Meha, where she just kind of talks about august where they were able to get the theme for the month and just a little way to connect with you know the theme and the creator of silk and sonder beautiful flower accents as well and then on to page three here we have the instruction sheet every planner is going to come with this you guys this one is different than the last month but this is what the previous instruction sheet looks like the gist of it is still very much the same but the sizes are different like this is the old sleep tracker like look how tiny that is versus how much bigger this is so that's a little bit better um so yeah i really really do like that and this is going to be in every planner you guys just so you can um get an idea of how to get the most out of your wellness planner so on page four and five we have a overview of the year which is necessary i think in every single planner just so you can glimpse ahead at dates or anything you might need that for and then of course on page five we have an august overview you guys which is really helpful just for looking at dates and wanting to jot down anything important coming up okay on page six and seven it's definitely something also i just oh, i really love i cannot believe you guys there's four months until the end of the year who can believe that so this is what they call the future log and it is the next four months um, of the calendar year so you can jot ahead jot down any dates while looking ahead any tentative events anything necessary you want to jot down for the next four months you have the space here you guys i absolutely love this you page eight and nine Ooh, love these you're gonna hear me say that a lot i will definitely rave a lot about a lot of things in this planner so july reflections review your last month before setting your attentions for the upcoming one you want to go over your july wins july hiccups your july favorite moments july hard moments what do you want to start stop and continue and then before you do your August intentions, make sure you do your reflection, of course. For August intentions, a new month, a new you. Setting intentions is not making a to-do list, it's asking something of yourself and then giving yourself the strength to do it. I absolutely love this. This is where I write all my goals for the month, um, which is just super helpful to keep everything really organized. The categories are perfect for everything in my life. You don't have to fill out everything. Um, if you don't want to, you can have one thing per box. And I think the best thing about this planner is it really is just the most incredible outline ever and you can fill it in whatever work in whatever way works best for you. And that's just something I absolutely adore. Okay, so page 10 and 11. So another one of my favorite parts of these planner is the mood tracker and the habit tracker, you guys. You can change these month to month. This is something else I love is the versatility. You can change the colors, the mood you have every single month, as, as well as the habits you have every single month. Habits make us who we are and also who we aren't. So it's so important to track your habits. If you're trying to incorporate something new or maybe even stop a bad habit in the mumbo jumbo of life, it's really easy to get lost in all that. So tracking your moods, being intentional, being mindful of your moods is definitely a plus on to page 12 and 13 on page 12 we actually have a sleep tracker um, this isn't something i use I actually use it as a step tracker this month but i've seen other people repurpose it tons of different ways on the silk and sonder app if you are a part of the sonder fam make sure you're downloading the app for inspiration and as well as a way to connect with others 
Okay, so on page 13, we're gonna start moving into the prompts more geared towards the theme of the month. So you have a desire log. Every day, write down one thing you desire. So you're gonna go through this every single day and write down something that you desire. So page 14, we have journaling prompts. Imagine your dream life. What all do you desire? What would you call more of and what would you put away? Write freely. If you could change one thing in your life with a blink of an eye, what would it be? What is getting in the way of that change? So just some really important introspective prompts that are really interesting to go through. On to page 15 here, we have visualization exercise. Suppose you wake up one morning and by some miracle, everything good you could ever imagine for yourself had actually happened. Your life had turned out to be exactly the way you wanted it. Take a moment and think about it. So you're just gonna reflect on that here. I actually really look forward to that. I did an exercise similar to that, I think last month. And it was just really, really nice to actually just have some thoughts about that and journal about it as well. So onto page 16 and 17. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look so cool? Wow. So on page 16, we have a desires wish list. Write or sketch 20 desires you have for the year. Highlight your top five and think of ways you can make these happen. Ooh, that's gonna be really exciting. I love like this, the way that it looks. That's gonna like give me inspiration to make it look pretty and colorful, you guys. That's one thing I absolutely love about these planners. It really, really brings out my creative side, which is just something else I really enjoy. So understanding our desires connecting with the why behind our biggest dream. So you write your desire. Why do you desire this? Why do you desire this? What does it give you? Why do you desire this? What does it give you? Oh, so it's like layers deep. To page 18, we have a recipe. Every single month, you guys, is gonna come with a recipe, um, which we have tried before in the past in my household, and they're absolutely really, really good. The format of this is a little bit different. I actually think it's a little bit more visually appealing than before. You always have the website here if you wanna look into more information about the recipe, your ingredients. This is something newer they've incorporated incorporated the spotlight ingredient. They're talking about corn this month and just instructions on how you wanna do that. This might be more of a wintry recipe or a fall recipe, but still looking forward to it. Page 19, we have a notes page, which is super, super nice, you guys. I've been using notes pages for daily rituals I've been doing this month. I think I need to do like a Sonder fan video because there's so many incredible things you get with these planners that I think it needs to be mentioned. So notes page, for anything you can possibly use it for, I use it for content planning, daily rituals, notes, to-do lists, anything. Literally scripting, I use it for that as well. Moving on to page 20, we have a coloring page. Every single planner, you guys, is gonna come with a coloring page, which is just so fun, you guys. I really enjoy coloring. It's definitely one of my favorite like tech-free downtime activities and it gives me more space to be creative in my life. And this is a beautiful flower. I look forward to coloring that. Noticing nature game, go outside or go to a window. Can you find some pebbles or rocks? What do you notice? Just another mindful activity that doesn't require you to have a phone or anything like that. Get outside, pay attention to nature. These are always really fun to fill out. 22 and 23 is another set of note pages. Again, you're free to use these however you see fit. Okay, so on to page 24 and 25. A beautiful quote page, you guys. Look at the flower accent i love the colors this month that peachy orangey color with the yellow and light blue flowers what a beautiful color combination on the right handed side we have a monthly expense tracker they've changed the format of this just a little bit and by that i mean this is just a little smaller which i think makes it a little bit easier to write over this i've seen tons of people repurpose this i've actually repurposed this as well and made it a social media tracker so i track comments and posts and stuff like that because that's the best way it works for me in my life. And so next we're gonna move to page 26 and 27. And this is what I call like a weekly overview, a weekly preview. Every single week you're gonna have this before you get to the day today planner. And we're gonna start here on the upper left-handed corner. You're gonna have a month and the week is gonna be highlighted in typically a corresponding color. So you know which week that we're on and you know the days of the week, of course. And then also it's gonna have the week numbered here. So this is the 31st week in the year. And then you're gonna have this week, I want to feel rested, aligned, whatever that looks like for you. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and drop that down here and make it big, bold, make it colorful, make it noticeable. So every time you flip to this page, you'll remember to cultivate this feeling and do things that make you feel this way. The weekly major three goals, three major goals you have for the week to get done. And often I will pull that actually from my weekly to do's. Um, so this is like normally a longer list versus the three goals. So I will have some focus here, which I think is necessary to um, just dot down some of my major things I wanna get done for the day. This is different too, there's no line here. This, yep, so this is what my week looks like this week. 
Um, and you can see how this is just slight, slight differences here. These are actually connected, it's colored in, but these are not connected here. So you can just kind of see what that looks like. So then you have a habit activity tracker here as well. Um, I actually really do enjoy this. This, this is more my week to week, day to day goals versus my month long habits I have on my habit tracker. Sometimes it's one thing, sometimes it's two things, sometimes I don't put, don't put anything here as well. You can definitely repurpose it for, for whatever works better for you. Okay, so moving on to the right handed page, we have a meal plan. Monday through Sunday, you guys, is how these weeks start. It's not an issue for me. It's something I've adjusted to over the year. Plus I've been with these planners. You're gonna have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack for each day. So you can jot down a meal plan, which is super, super helpful, you guys. I actually really enjoy this. Filling it out when I do fill it out just helps me to make healthier decisions and choices when it comes to maintaining and leading a healthy lifestyle. Um, and then up here, you're gonna have a Robert Kiyosaki, which I poured out if you didn't know. The size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire. Love this. There's always going to be a small quote here. Sorry, the lighting's a little weird. You're going to have your mind body health plan Monday through Sunday. So I typically would just write my workouts here. So I know what's what. If you have workout classes, you're going to walk with a friend, you need to walk your dog or anything like that, meditation, anything that has to do with your mind, your body, and your health, you're going to go ahead and plan it out ahead of the time here. Shopping list, you guys, anything you could need, need from the store. Amazon, DoorDash, I don't know, whatever you could possibly need. Whole Foods, wherever you shop at, you're gonna go ahead and drop that down here. Every week you're gonna write a great food, a great memory, a great song, just like really putting you in the moment, making you, you know, acknowledge the great things in your life. And I actually will fill this out during the week as I experience these things or at the end of the week and just do some reflection. Okay, next we're moving to a weekly planner. This is what a week looks like, you guys. Monday, of course, to Sunday. Saturday and Sunday actually do split a column. That personally is not an issue for me in my life as, you know, my weekends are aren't that busy. If you have a busier weekend, then that might be something to um, spill over onto a note page or whatever. But next, we're just gonna um, move to one day. So one thing, you guys, I write one thing I wanna get done. I've seen people write one affirmation. I've seen people write one thing that they're grateful for. Or use this however you want, you guys. That's the beauty of these planners. Like I said, this is the best, most beautiful looking outline you'll ever find for a planner and you can release it to whatever best suits you in your life. And week to week that may change and that's okay. That's the beauty of these planners. You have the flexibility to do that. So whether you're gonna circle the weather, I don't typically use that, but I see tons of people use it. You're gonna have the number of the date here along with the actual you know, spelling of the day, Wednesday. Every single day is gonna have a nice long column here that is gridded, which I actually really love. This, I've seen even people write great gratitude right here and not do to-do list. There's just so many ways you can use this, you guys. That's why I always, always push the app because just seeing what other people do, it inspires me to change things up, to switch things up and to see different perspectives on how to use the planner. And in turn, it makes it more useful because I have more ways to utilize it just depending on how I'm feeling week to week. At the bottom of every single day, you're gonna have these water droplets, which are for tracking your water intake, which is really convenient, you guys. Always, I always like to point out, you know, the things that are included, the sleep tracker, the expense tracker, the water tracker, the habit tracker, the mood tracker. It's so mindful and intentional. You're not gonna find a planner that is more mindful and intentional than these. After every single week, you're gonna have a note page or two, just depending on how the planner falls, but normally it's always two note pages after the week. So another week, another quote, flower accents throughout, you guys. All right, another one of my favorite pages here, you guys, is a currently. So this is a currently. So this, so this is whatever you're currently loving, feeling, enjoying, anticipating, wishing, reading, watching, planning. This is gonna be halfway through every single planner. Halfway through the month, you're gonna fill this out and just sit there 10, 15 minutes and just really do some introspective work on what you're currently loving, what you're currently wishing, what you're currently reading. And not only do I really enjoy filling these out, you guys, I really love looking back on them. Another note page. All right. Everything else to that is pretty much the same. Week to week to week, it's the same. Okay, so the end of August is a Tuesday. So the last week in this planner actually does include the first five days of September. That's just something to note. If you are looking to get the August planner, you will get the first five days of September as well. Okay, you guys, this is what the back looks like. Like, look at this color, you guys. I love how, like, this just looks like spilled paint. Or have you ever, like, spilled water on pen? The color just kind of gets all soft and pretty. Let me just put this up close so you can see. Yep, and these are indeed made in California. That is it for the August Silk and Sonder planner. 
Um, if you guys are looking for 15% off, my link and my code will be down below. Silk and Sonder recently has changed their website and they've been making lots of changes for the better. My link and discount code are actually set up now, which is super duper exciting. So be sure to use the link below and discount code CC 15% off for 15% off your first subscription thank you so much in advance for everyone who chooses to shop via my link and using my code and i just really appreciate you guys be sure to check it out you guys um that is one of the biggest discounts you're going to be able to find so be sure to use my link and also my code to get 15 percent off your subscription be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that's to my channel, which i so appreciate and of course subscribe for more me more silk and sonder and yeah i love you guys so much i appreciate your time today i'll see you next time Bye.